Hi everybody, Amanda here. Nice uh, to talk to you again. It's a while since the last auction. This one is on the 4th of July. Very American of us to celebrate uh, 4th of July with an auction. Well, why not? So the viewing is on Saturday, the 3rd of July between 11 and 5. No viewing on the Sunday, which is the 4th. That's the auction. And we are on Invaluable as well as live. Uh, God willing, we'll be allowed to have people here. Many things might change in Victoria by then. But we're going to go with the flow. So having said that, you know all our photos are up on our website. You know our full catalogue is on the website. And David is willing to add uh, additional photos for those who need them. But not on minor value items, only on the more expensive items because it is quite time consuming but anyway in the back room i won't go there now we have some instruments we have some a butcher's block we have a lovely butcher's block uh, we have some royal crown derby some collectible royalty memorabilia etc so to start with there's a few goodies here this is my favorite room because this is the stuff that i collect handbags shoes uh, wonderful Chanel handbag here, wonderful Chanel shoes, which I couldn't possibly wear, but somebody will, and they're beautiful, of course. Then there are a few other lovely handbags. This is interesting, a Chanel belt. This is even more interesting. That's, I think, about 30, 40 years old. Um, gentleman's soap, and uh, what's this? So, Chanel. Anyway, there's, there's a few other things. There's a nice vintage ladies a travel makeup case slash jewellery case by Tosca. So interesting items. Some lovely costume jewellery. There's an assortment of labels there. Check our catalogue for it. Oh, and there's my dog's toy. Bookie, okay, there's your baby. Anyway, this is a fascinating room. There's uh, more Chanel in here, there's Cartier, there's Louis Vuitton, uh, another Chanel piece. That's quite nice. That's a very old Lagerfeld uh, parfum de toilette, I believe. Anyway, there's a number of things. This is a cute little thing here. I like this. This is one of my favourite things in the auction. I think that is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful jacket. I wish it would fit me, but unfortunately, uh, I'm not as slender as, as the lucky girl that gets to wear that. Ah, that's a nice um, red fox fur coat. For those of you who have opulent taste, it's a nice vintage telephone in alabaster. This way, David. This is a massive dinner set. There's two more boxes in the kitchen area. So, you buy it for once. The auction is full from, uh, is she a deceased or in a nursing home, the lady? <laughs> nursing home. Nursing home. She's in a nursing home. But she collected, they're all throughout the auction in every room. She collected mainly around, uh, Royal Crown Derby. Of course, you've got the tank cards here, bells. And looking through those cabinets, um, more than half of those things were, are hers as well. This is one of my fa personal favourites in the auction. I really like this. That's a nice piece of timber. That's a beautiful sculptural piece of timber. I love it. That's my taste too. So I'm only going to show you things that are my taste, okay? <laughs> Moving right along, David. We're going this way. Got a lot to show them. Lot, 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 lot. In here. Here we are. <laughs> So there's a lot crammed into this little room. I love this Black Forest little uh, ink stand uh, next to our, is that French, David? French. It is French. Looks like a cathedral, really, doesn't it? There's an interesting little Charles Blackman. And love these chairs. They do need reupholstering again, but they're beautiful. And this, of course, is a stunning, stunning Murano chandelier, but we've left it in pieces because we can't hang off our ceiling and there's another lovely chandelier and again this is some more of that ladies collectibles 
nice couple of chests here and they're in very good nick some more interesting artworks and that actually i was amazed that is dalton is a dalton dalton, dalton lambeth dalton burslem by david jewsbury yeah and i thought this is a really really nice unique piece it's got a wonderful um, pattern to it hand painted and i'm not usually into dalton myself but i really like that i think that's just beautifully done it's an artwork in a vase I, I like it anyway me likes it so going back to our wonderful collector there's there's a whole stack of box plates here and there's some in the front room as well this is another artwork that i really like this isn't the space for it but i hope you can all see it it's gorgeous it gives you a really happy warm feeling that one that's pat moran pat moran okay Patricia Thank moran. You, David. <laughs> Oh, just a, just a little piece of jewellery I'm trying on for size. Isn't that gorgeous? It's about one carat, isn't it? Makes a good engagement ring or a dress ring, whatever your taste is. But I thought that was really sweet. I really like the size of the stone and the setting. The setting is really lovely. So I, thought, I think that's really nice. There's lots more jewellery. We're not going to show it all to you now, but you can certainly look at up online. I think David would like to talk to you about a couple of things that he likes. Do I? Yes, you do. <laughs> but if I tell everyone what I like, then they'll be against me. It doesn't mean that you're buying anything, David. Yeah. I love this uh, Minton style Majolica uh, moon shaped flask. It is Beautiful. nice. Very ornate. This is all coming. From, this is also come in from another collection in Glen Iris. Signed uh, uh, Italian from about 1900. Nice work by Roger Kemp. Lovely, uh, I think this is about 1970 work. And along here, look too close. Oh, sorry. Some more Royal Crown Derby up there. John Olson. Oh yeah. Love this piece of John Olson. So that's the bowl. And that's the lid. And that's the lid. Both pieces are really beautiful. I like this. Place. Who's this tile by? I don't know. It's beautifully done. It's signed on the uh, front and the back. And I couldn't work out who it was. About 1970. I like the hands too. Who are they by? Don't know again. It's signed. <laughs> it says... It's Italian. Scaramic or something, something like so, that. Scaramic? Yeah, something like that. That doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, that's pretty, David. What's that? Clossome. That's unusual. It's very unusual. That's why I took it in. And a very unusual uh, Merrick Boy teapot from 1944. Has got damages, but it's still a beautiful piece. And there's another piece as well by Percival and um, um, Merrick And Merrick, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some beautiful pieces of... Grand Derby here, all these Grand Derby paperweights, really unusual ones. And I love these two pieces of antique, they are Indian, but they're antique Indian silver. Look no, no, don't take them down, I'll move the camera up, yeah. Here. Okay. Yeah, they are rather nice. And that's 18th century uh, Thai. Oh, uh, I can't uh, see Alama. him. Can you, well, no, I, I can't see him. I'm not that tall, David, I'm remember? Him down. Look at the quality of him. He's genuine 18th century. Not a copy, a genuine piece. Yeah, he's nice. He's beautiful. And there's some beautiful pieces of jade as well. Look at this piece of jade. This is really unusual. It's like a tortoise shell. On both sides it's carved. That's very nice. An early and where's piece. that from? Uh, from, it's originally from China. Uh -huh. But uh, probably uh, very early Republic period. And there's a, uh, some more Chinese blue-white pieces here as well, antique pieces. And what's and, this carving? Yes, uh, but I can't mention what horn it is, but it's, you'll see it in the catalogue. I don't want to mention it on the, on the website. Uh, it's old. It no, don't more, take that off. It's more than 100, year, uh, 100 years old, so that we can still sell it. This has got a certificate of authenticity, a Greco-Roman uh, terracotta uh, sculpture. We've got a few pieces of... Uh, sort of and and quick antiquities that word is very difficult for me to say but a few pieces including this one here i like that standard lamp 
That's nice. That's nice too. Italian. The one in the window. Italian pieces. And I like that noon looking at a bunch of flowers. She's, she's coming from the same lady who had all the Royal, Royal Crown Derby. Ah, that was hers too. And okay. there's some interesting things that came in later. Look at this unusual. Oh, is, who's, this is uh, Merrick Boyne. Merrick Boyne and John Percival. Oh, oh, John Percival. Okay. That's quite nice, Elaine. Have a look over here where I'm standing. Have a look at this really unusual art for the this arts a, or arts and crafts chair. It's a, it's a sculptural thing, yeah, really, it is. isn't it? It's probably by somebody very famous. And look how big it is. It's a bit of a Renee McIntosh okay, sort of um, this is probably echoes. Like somebody really uh, well known. We echoes, echoes of Scandinavian arts and crafts. Does it? Yeah, oh, okay. and Macintosh. And is it? Uh, some retro tables uh, and chairs in the auction. With this one might be by Rosanda or Mm-hmm. So, and there's all the other things here. Everywhere you look, interesting things throughout the whole auction. Character jugs. I love character jugs. <coughs> Don't say that. Yeah. Let me come back and let you know again. The auction's on on Sunday the fourth of July. Viewing will be on Saturday the third of July, eleven a.m. 5pm at 251 Jasper Road, McKinnon and everything you can view on the website aaauctions.com.au Photographs Photographs It should also be up all on valuable about uh, two weeks before the auction Any inquiries, email us or send me text messages and we'll be able to help you Look forward to seeing you at the auction See you then, bye Okay. I want to get in my way of your hands.